you guys for about two weeks that new stuff was going to drop to my Etsy, and this is just the beginning. Every two or three weeks, we got a wave of stuff coming like this between now and Christmas and after the new year. And then we're going to rotate some stuff in or rotate it back out, bring back old stuff, put in some new. So we're going to kick this off with what I'm wearing. We have Corporal's Corner hoodies available right now. Check these bad boys out. So this is just the beginning, and here's the hood right here. I'm wearing a triple X. It fits me perfectly. I like baggy hoodies. I don't like them all skin tight, so it gives room to grow. Also, when you wash them, it's going to give a little bit of shrink. It's a 50-50 cotton polyester blend, and I currently have sizes medium through triple X. Now, there's no small. Someone's going to complain. Why? Because you can't make everybody happy. But here's the reason why I don't have any smalls. One, it's hard to sell because it's only meant for kids or small people. And two, they're not in stock. So we're gonna stick with the mediums all the way up through triple X. Why no 4X? Because they didn't have any. Um, so this run, once again, we have medium through triple X. Now this is gonna be available on my Etsy page. My Etsy page only, not Amazon. Okay, so you have to go to my Etsy link. And we'll talk about that here coming up. Now, this is gonna be an experiment. I currently have, I wanna say, either 150 or 200 of these spread out once again from medium all the way through triple X. If they just fly off the shelves, then we'll order more and we'll order different colors. We currently only carry OD green. Why? Because I like that. So I tend to buy things and gear that I like in hopes that you see it working and you like it too. In the future, we'll get some type of browns, maybe some grays, things like that. But once again, that depends on you all. If these just fly off the shelves, then we'll order more. So, it's a seasonal thing, it's winter time, it's going to be cold between now and all the way up through March, beginning of April. It's hoodie season, so why not get yours today, OD Green, blend in. So, once again, check out my Etsy page, that link is inside my video description box. Now, let's move on. Alright, so moving right along here, dropping today also, and through the weekend, another experiment, we have a Corporal's Corner swing grill. Now, back, I want to say, midweek video number 17, I think it was, I showed you how to make something similar to this. I didn't show you how to make this one because I was saving this one. But there's one similar. And those of you that made them and told me about them, perfect, I appreciate it. Um, this one right here is made from a 12 by 6 stainless steel grill. We have I want to say a number 12 or a W12 jack chain that goes around the corners here that are fastened down. I open the chain links up and actually crimp them to the grill itself here and here. And I believe that's two foot of chain on each side, so you're about a foot up. Make sense? Then we have six inches of additional chain at the halfway point between here and here, along with a removable hook. And I'll show you the reason why I want removable coming up. Now you can hang this from a horizontal branch with two Y branches. Hang it right over like this. You can adjust your height by removing your hook and placing it anywhere on here that you want. If you have a deep or a large bush pot or a coffee pot, I wanted it high enough to facilitate that. You can also take the chain and put them away like this to raise it up or lower it down towards the fire. And we'll demo all this here in a minute. So starting today, we have 100 of these 12 by 6 grills. No, the grill is not sold separately. It is sold as a system. It is a swing grill cook system that you can just simply take the chain and wrap it around this way. Then take your hook, hook it to your grill. Take the opposite one on this side, hook it to your grill as well, and then slide it into a pack. Got my two Y branches right here. On the bottom, we're going to carve a simple point and then stab it in the ground and then run a horizontal between the Ys. Now 
Then we'll add our horizontal on here like that and we'll be in business. So now we can take our grill and we can hang it here and here. There we go. So now this right here is the beauty of this system. We talked about this extra six inch piece and removable hooks. All you gotta do is pop your hook off of here and raise it or lower it to bring that grill up or down or simply just dig a fire pit and give that extra foot depth that you need. That way the flames are down here beneath the grill. It's whatever you wanna to do to your liking, but I give you several options with this design. And like I mentioned, the hook is removable. So all you gotta do is take your link and pop it out and then you can adjust the height of your grill. So we have six inches to deal with. Let's go ahead and put this thing on the first link right here. Just pop it through there lock it down, then rehang your hook. The exact same thing to the opposite side. You can see the height difference. And you got the six inches of chain on both sides. And then, like I said, if you dig a fire pit down here as well, another six inches to a foot deep, you have anywhere from six inches to 18 inches to work with. So it works out. Now with something like this, there's no danger of the grill flipping or sliding around or flipping over. It's not going to. The worst it's gonna do is swing in the breeze. That's why it's called a swing grill. Now, option A, horizontal stick, two Y branches. Perfect, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, this same design allows for you to have an angled stick with a bush pot dangling from the end and your meat over the grill. Check this out. Adding a small notch right here like we did for our pot notch right there. The hook will sit inside there and not slide. But if you look at it, we're sloped down. So this is why we have the adjustments we can make over here by simply popping this off. And we'll go to the bottom one down here and then we'll hook it up. And you can see there's room for a little bit more adjustments here. We can just keep lowering this as low as we need to until we get it towards level Right there should work. And to pack this thing up, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it like this and then just drape it over the top here. Go underneath and then I'm just gonna hook it to one of these openings on this grill. The exact same thing to this side right here. Just wrap around and hook it. And then place it inside of a shemog or even a bandana. Just drape it inside there. That's all you gotta do. And just stuff it away in your business. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're only gonna drop between 25 and 50 a week. Why? Because it's an experiment. And most people, they can't watch the videos when they drop. They are unable to or they refuse to. Either way, they're not watching. They watch them three or four or five days later and then get mad at me because the store is sold out. I personally don't feel that's my fault because I say several times when I'm gonna drop stuff and you can choose to be there or not. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna stagger this out. 25 to 50 a week and starting today we're gonna do that and then on Sunday whatever's left over is gonna be there. In this coming Sunday's video, I'm going to actually use this grill. That way people who missed this video can see it happen on my overnighter. And then we're going to go from there. These are going to be available all the time. Use OD greens. If they sell out like that, we're going to find some tans, browns, grays, things like that. Experiment. We're going to move into t-shirts as well. And I have some other things dropping in a few weeks. I'm not going to give anything away. But just stay tuned. We're going to make videos like this. Show the gear. Use the gear in the woods. And what I found to be most effective is using the same gear over and over and over and over and over again. Same with wearing the clothes over and over and over and over again. You see the longevity of it. You see that I'm a believer in it. And you see how well it holds up in the woods. And I've done this for other companies. So now I'm going to start doing it for myself. Um, and hopefully it'll go well. But the two items now, we have our OD green hoodie and our packable swing grill. So... On that note, check out my Etsy link in my video description box and get her done. Let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. 
Both links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you're in that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.